This video is brought to you by David Gillespie. Thank you for being a farm baron. Hello everybody and welcome back to another Hoff Bergman Explained video. Today we're going to take a look at the Butcher. The Butcher is one of the three final destinations for animals that you might have here on Hoff Bergman. Normally in a map you have one choice. You have to take your animals down to the animal dealer when maybe you have too many animals or you're just looking to get rid of them. But here on Hoff Bergman, the animal dealer is simply one of three choices. Now we've already taken a look at the slaughterhouse and today we're gonna to take a look at the butcher. So here we are down at the butcher. Let's go ahead and show you where that is here on the map. We have as a point of reference, the farm shop or the machine shop right here. And then right down the street, we have the butcher. So we are kind of in the back of the butcher area. The main butcher shop, the retail sale area, is right up there in that house. And here we are. We've seen this already where we talked about getting animal fat. So we've seen that particular part of the butcher facility. Let's go ahead and walk it in and, well, talk to Mr. Butcher and see what he accepts. We walk up to this guy. We're going to get our information screen at the bottom. You can see that the butcher will accept sheep, rams, and goats, chickens and ducks, pigs and breeding pigs. And what we will get out of him is some trays of meat. And those trays of meat will pile up over here. Now the butcher also accepts piglets. We're going to put piglets in this box here. And what we're going to get out is we're going to get out suckling pigs. Suckling pigs are going to pile up on this counter right here. And basically we can take the meat trays and the suckling pigs and sell them for pretty high profits. Let's go ahead and take a look at the prices screen and see what kind of profits we're talking about here. Now remember, all of these prices are in 1,000 liter values. Scroll on over here to our meat. You see that the farm shop back at our main farm accepts meat for a retail sale. The village shop accepts meat as well as the eight villager houses. Now if we scroll on over further, we're gonna to get to our suckling pig area. Now we can take our piglets and take them down to the animal dealer for sure, but we can bring them also here to the butcher, get them made into suckling pigs, and we can sell them at the farm shop. At the inn, at the village shop, or at any of the eight farmhouses in town. So we've used various methods of transporting the animals down here. We have the LSFMS or LF, LSFM Innovations small trailer. We've used that to transport calves, bulls, and such. I've got three breeding pigs in this trailer. We've used the Flegel flat deck, which comes with the map in new farmer mode. And we've got here two regular pigs. And I've went ahead and put two piglets also in here. In the Flegel trailer, we have several sheep and goats. And then in the Flegel truck, we have some chickens and ducks. So let's talk about the Flegel trailer here, the Flegel flat deck. This is the one thing maybe that we haven't necessarily seen and don't really have an analog as to what it is, where to find it. So here under tools, under miscellaneous, we're gonna find the Flegel rear deck $2,400. In animal configuration mode, it's going to transport two pigs or three sheep. You can also put piglets in here. Uh, I don't think it's going to take chicken boxes, but it might. You might want to try. We can get it in a flatbed variant. Perfect for transporting milk, milk cans, uh, barrels of butter, maybe cheese rounds. A great way of transporting all kinds of things around the map. We can get it in platform metal platform with a wood deck we can put in grid or we could put animal transport and it puts some straw down there you change the main color change our decals like so 
So that's what that is. So let's go ahead and talk about basically what happens to our animals down here at the butcher. So there was a little bit of a question of what do you do and how do you move your suckling pigs, or sorry, your piglets? Well, you basically pick them up. So with our calves, we come up to them and we basically lead them with a rope. But for our piglets, we just pick them up and, well, put them inside the crate. Gonna be okay, Mr. Little Piglet. Just gonna take you down here and put you in this nice little box. Like so. so. We have one. Oh, I'm sure it was quick and painless. Mr. Two Piglet, hopefully you didn't see what happened to your, your brother or sister there. Like so. And like I said, over time, we're going to get our suckling pigs up here right there. Now, oh, right there, popped one in. So he is being made into a suckling pig. And basically what it looks like is the butcher skins the pig, greases him up, kind of gets rid of all the fur and everything. And, uh, well, coming to a platter near you. Now let's go ahead and kind of offload some of these other animals and get the butcher all fired up. Let's back up our flegal deck and we're going to back up right here to the door. And we want to unload two animals. Yes, we do. And as soon as we do that, we can hear then the meat saw kick in. There are some animations that we will look at here momentarily. Back this trailer up. These are our breeding pigs again. We want to unload those. I'm doing it this way because in testing I had a little bit of a interesting thing crop up when I was trying to unload multiple animal trailers. I had multiple trailers connected. So I just thought for the video, I would uh, kind of do them one at a time. As I said in here, we have ducks, we've got goats, we've got chickens, we've got sheep. So we want to unload 10 chickens. Go. Man, this should give us a large amount of meat. Now, as referenced in the slaughterhouse video, if you haven't seen that one, I'll go ahead and reference it in this video also. Animals brought down to the butcher and the slaughterhouse are basically converted into kilos of meat. So cows, which don't come down to the butcher, but anyway, cows are good for 700 kilograms. Young bulls, again, they don't come down to the butcher. Doesn't make much sense. I mean, we butcher cows and bulls here in the U.S., but at any rate, down here at the butcher, they'll take pigs, 250 kilograms per pig, Breeding pigs are 120 kilograms. Sheep and goats are 150 kilograms. Poultry is three kilograms each. And horses, again, those are that's over at the slaughterhouse, 
is a thousand kilograms. Let's go ahead and kind of see what's going on in here now that we have delivered some animals. So our meat saw has kicked in. And we've got kind of a steam pod here going on. Steam coming off every so often. And basically we got some packaged meat. This is all decorative and it's going to be going into these meat trays. So what I'm going to go, go ahead and do is speed up the clock a little bit and we'll see them populate in here. Slow the clock back down. And now we have 10 liter trays of meat. So if our sheep produce 120 kilograms, then I gotta wonder how many trays of meat are we gonna get out of our sheep? I don't really know. So here we have our two suckling pigs. They are all 100% done. So 100 unit pig, piglet, goes in and we have a 100 unit suckling pig come out. And we have basic deal with transporting these guys. So I'm gonna make use of the butcher van. Why not? So let's get on into this guy and we'll left click and open the side door. And I'm gonna go ahead and load this up and we'll take it around and uh, see about selling these to the various residents of this fine town. I don't think we've really shown where all of the, uh, the various townsfolk are. So let's just go ahead and do that. While we're here, so we'll go ahead and sell to all eight villager houses. First, a meat tray. To this particular house. So, $92 worth of for one particular meat tray. Let's go with a suckling pig to the next location. Which is around back here. So, 2000 $206 for one duckling pig. Wow. That is a serious moneymaker. We have two houses right here behind the inn. Did the lady of the house order up some meat? A pig. For family geese. Family geese. Fourteen hundred dollars. They're not really. weren't really impressed with that pig, were they?
that is four of the eight houses. Here we have house number five. Again, the wall, the way all of these have been set up is they're going to require hand delivery pretty much to each and every house. We've already seen these two past the cooperage so we'll head and get those I guess last on our trip Family number six. Well, I really don't know what number they are, but there's six on our trip. Now, there was also a question in the comments about some of the characters at these various points have. A little cloud above them with some dots and they're asking what that meant basically that means that you can maybe not so much interact with that particular person but if you walk up to that particular person you will get some information from them just like the butcher when we walk up to the butcher we see what inputs he takes we see the amount of input that he has the amount of output that he has. And then our finally our final family is right here. So we've now sold to all of the various families. And I think for the sake of brevity with this particular video. We're going to go ahead and come down here and sell the rest of this at the village shop. So the butcher overall is a fairly good way of getting rid of your excess animals. It's not the it's not the quickest. It's not the easiest, but it can net you some pretty good returns as far as money goes. So, here we go, $1,100, $1,200 for all of the rest over the meat. So again, we had 30 trays of meat. <laughs> We sold eight trays to individual houses. Or I guess we sold six trays to individual houses. Two suckling pigs to individual houses. And then we sold the rest to the village shop. And again, in no time flat, this guy is gonna have another 15 trays. And we've got 200 more trays to go, <laughs> I guess. No, not 200. A lot of trays to go to uh, finish up with the animals that we've already brought down here. So, guys, that's going to do us for today's video as we talk about the butcher and what you can do with him. The next video, we're going to talk about making bread down at the farm in the bread bakery and what it's going to take to get that particular bread made. Big shout out to all of our farm hands farm bosses and farm barons if you're interested in joining the channel just go ahead and take a look at the link down below it says join and until next time
happy farming.